Now, today on Focus, we are investigating how meat-loving France is facing up to animal abuse in its food chain. In recent months, several slaughterhouses have been named and shamed for maltreating animals. You might have seen some of the video footage circulated by activists that has added to public pressure on those companies. Well, our reporters have been to one part of France where one slaughterhouse is trying to clean up its act. Karim Yayaoui, Alexandra Renat and Emerald Maxwell report from Burgundy. The sun has risen over Burgundy. The green and tranquil countryside is home to these peacefully grazing cattle. The scene is a long way from the pictures made public by the L214 Association, revealing the inhumane treatment sometimes inflicted on animals in abattoirs and prompting authorities to consider introducing surveillance cameras. It's Monday killing day, as they call it here at the Autun Abattoir. They see no need for CCTV here. The process is transparent, and they say they're not here to cause suffering to animals. If the atmosphere is calm and the herdsman is friendly, the cows walk forward on their own into the trap. Once the animal is in the trap, we try to go as fast as possible so it doesn't realise what's going on. It's in a corridor, but could almost be in a stall like it's used to. As soon as it's in the trap, the goal is really to make it go very fast. The herdsman's job is to accompany the animal in its last moments before putting it to death. The Utah herdsman sometimes whispers in the animal's ear to reassure it before the fateful moment. With some animals, especially those who are kind and gentle, it can be a bit hard to put them to death. So we always try to comfort them with a kind word because they deserve it. We're a small scale operation here. In large slaughterhouses, they kill up to 600 animals a day. Today here, we're killing 30, because here things are not industrial, we're not machines trying to produce as much meat as possible. If it takes five minutes to get a cow to go in, we'll take those five minutes. They may be far from industrial production rates at Autun, but the slaughterhouse is still not an easy environment. They know here that the welfare of animals contributes to the serenity of workers, but it's also more financially viable. Well-treated animals give better meat and less just employees work better. You still have to be able to bear killing the animals. Not everyone is capable of doing that. Obviously, if throughout the day the animals are screaming, then the employees are going to be stressed too, because they're not machines, you know. <laughs> At the Aubin Abattoir, they refuse to believe the videos of abuse are anything other than isolated cases. I don't think it's possible. I think they knew they were being filmed, and they wanted to show things like that. There are crazy people in all trades. You find people like that in retirement homes and nurseries, too. Jocelyne Porcher was a farmer before becoming an agricultural researcher. The videos of slaughterhouse violence came as no surprise to her. These videos have raised the issue of violence in slaughterhouses, but it's not a new discovery. I've been working on the issue for 30 years. For 30 years, I've been writing against industrial systems and slaughterhouses, and it was ignored. Now, with all the media coverage of the violence, we have to take the opportunity to question these practices. For the researcher, these abuses are symptomatic of a larger problem. For decades, the industrialization of slaughter has changed the human-animal relationship. Livestock is now nothing more than a product in a society that encourages ever more consumption. You have to put it into a historical context. Since the 1950s, we've been pushed to consume. It's not the consumers asking for tiny cocktail sausages for the children's snacks. It's the meat industry that produces these things, and then we are pushed to eat them. And to do so, they've been using all the trappings of advertising. Years of advertising and propaganda has helped France become one of the biggest consumers of meat on the planet. Some farmers are trying to change this industrial thinking, like Émilie Janin. She's helping to implement ethical beef, the first mobile abattoir in France. 
We think this initiative will help combat animal abuse because such a mobile slaughterhouse will no longer be a neutral place where farmers go. Instead, the abattoir comes to the farm. The farmer's there, beside his animal, until the last moment. It's done with complete transparency. In this way, animal abuse becomes nearly impossible. The finger of blame is regularly pointed at overproduction and overconsumption. But consumers also have a role to play in moderating their eating habits. I don't think we should maintain such a high level of meat consumption. I think in some ways, vegans and vegetarians are our best allies, because the less meat one eats, the better quality it'll be. Let's start with that principle and stop producing so much meat. Let's aim instead for better quality and do it from the beginning to end properly. I think it would be better for everyone. Since 1998, meat consumption has in fact declined in France. Initiatives like Émilie Janin's could help restore some respect for the animals that do end up on our plates.